Johnny Ross is back, boys. He is right where he loves to be, and that is at the start of the offseason. No one wins free agency like Steven Ross. Big money bags rolling in. He goes, guess what? I took a year off, and I've been stowing away free agency money like a squirrel. And I'm coming in with a pair of big fat squirrel acorns, swaggering into free agency, spending willy nilly, making it rain, Leroy. Here's the problem. <laughs> hey, when you saw the news, was your first, you know, thought was, yeah, we got our guy, or was it who? My first thought was a dumb who? who? I'm like, who? <laughs> Highest paid corner? Yeah. Name Now, now they got the top two. A week, got, no, a, a week from now, if I tell you who's the highest paid corner, you're going to say that guy from the, that guy from the Dolphins. Well, you don't even know his name. I think pretty soon it's going to be Jalen Ramsey. But but still. Until then. But, but, but guess until what? Until then. If you would have said Jalen Ramsey, we would have said, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who cares? Byron Jones is here. Who cares? He's here. He's making a, uh, an F ton of money. We're taking ex- a- expatriates up the wazoo. Welcome in, Kyle Van Noy. Left and right, Leroy. Left and right. To be honest with you. What? Um, that's nothing new. Last time, last, time, last time we brought a Shaq down to Miami. Championship. Hey, by the way, <laughs> by the way, relax. No. Um that that's all that's always happened. When when Belichick came to mm. Cleveland, we we had all old uh Giants. Sure. When he went to the Jets, yeah. He dragged a whole bunch of Browns over there. That that's kind of yeah, What's going to happen though when he takes Tom Brady though, too? He ain't taking Tom. Uh, really? Tom Brady's not coming down. Oh yeah? No. Uh, that's not what the streets are saying. The streets. That's not what the Twitter streets are saying. Really? That's not what they're saying, Leroy. You, you And you reported it. You said he was gone out of New England. No, uh, no, you, no. Even that, though you kinda whiffed on that Marcus Mariota thing. They no. said they were targeting Mariota. He didn't say that they were gonna say off, off target. Where'd he go? He went to Oakland. Wow. Las Vegas. Oh, sorry, Las Vegas. Really? Yeah. Well, keep in mind that was another spot for maybe Tom Brady. It was not no so, more. Yeah. So he's down. Did he to, did he get a boatload of money, so or down, he just got the? I haven't seen what the money is. I don't know. I don't know. I, I imagine he didn't get right. a lot of money. Because I mean, I saw Case Keenum got a lot of money for a backup. He got like eighteen million, nine guaranteed for three years. That's not a lot of money. It is for a backup. That's but, what Matt Matt Moore made what five million a year. That was a ton of money. But Matt Moore never played. Case Keenum's gonna play. Really? <laughs> Please. Oof. That's hard times. Please. Case, Case Keenum had, I mean, one good year and one good pass. And he going to play till he's 45 because of it. Super rich. Filthy rich. Wait, can can somebody? And look, I have nothing against this guy. Right? Nothing at all. Seems like a, a, a good guy. Good dude. Paid his dues. How the hell does um, Kirk Cousins keep get thirty million a year? I thought Kirk Cousins was paid. Why is there a new contract? Right. I don't understand. You want a playoff game? Huh? I mean, I, it, look I here. Thought, I'm I, gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. In Kirk Cousins' career, he has got a tag put on him, right? And no matter what, you will view Kirk Cousins as a game manager. How much does? Let me ask. But you guess this. what? What? How many yards? If you had to guess off the top of your head, how many yards did Kirk Cousins throw for last year? 4,000. 4,900. Damn. Really? Right. So, but but because we think of Kirk Cousins a certain way, we can't get that out of our mind that in Washington and and because of uh, Diggs. Yeah, but there's some – There's. I want to get back to the offense in a second because we're kind of unloading the clip on free agency here. But uh, – <laughs> But but Kirk Cousins, you know how like Josh Rosen has the worst timing in his life. Kirk Cousins kind of has the best timing in his life. Sure, like, he's just ended up with sure. RG three getting hurt, franchise tag. Right, like, it's just it's just worked. He's just he's just happened to work out in a good place where he's been good enough where you can't get rid of him, but not good enough where people but, really but, believed in him. But 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 is that being good enough when you throw for forty nine hundred yards? Mm, I mean, it's been fine. They won a playoff game. Been fine. 
That's better than average, dude. On the road. Well, wait, is that better? Is that not better than average? Yeah, better than okay. average. Okay, but do you think of Kirk Cousins as better than average? Yeah. Is, is he a top uh, 10 quarterback in the league? Uh, yes, he sure. is. When you say better than yeah. average, I just assume better than top 15, which he is. He's, yeah, he's right. better than top 15. Oh, okay. But that's I think a, it can fluctuate. No, you either are or you aren't, dude. 10 to 15 doesn't fluctuate? I mean, he's been consistently. If you look at his numbers, right, top ten. We'll get back in the Kirk, right, Kirk Cousins. I want to get back. I want to get. I want to get back to big, big money. Big money Ross. All right, all right. BMR. Big money Ross. <laughs> Walton on in. He goes <laughs> a year of restraint, and now all of a sudden he gets to open up the old wallet. He's excited. Let's get to headlines. This is WAXYAM South Miami and WSFSFM HD2 Miramar, a radio.com sports station. So, yeah, Byron Jones, five years, 82 million, 57 of it guaranteed. Whoosh. Highest paid corner. Passing Xavier Howard. Yep. Passing yeah, Robbie Howard. was asking yesterday on the text. He goes, Is that the biggest, uh, the, the highest paid tandem ever? I'm like, If you, bake, if you break the record back to back years, yeah, it's do, you automatic. Have, do, you have, do you even have to look that up? Right, I think they. Yeah. I think they are. I guess, I mean, I guess until uh, you know, like I said, I think Jalen Ramsey when he gets paid, he's going to be the highest paid corner. I hope but. this isn't reminiscent of Dominican Sue and they gave him all that money and they had the worst run defense with the Dominican Sue. Well, the the one question we're going to have Adam Beasley on later today. I guess the one question is, are they going to keep Xavier Howard? Like, is is that the plan, or is it going to be one of those things where he's now the franchise corner and maybe they're going to move on from Xavier? Well, yeah, I mean, if you can get if you can get some. Quality picks for it, but I doubt you can get like a high pick because his salary is so high. I, I thought you can get a number one for Xavier Howard. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, who was the? There were some moves yesterday where, like, I guess the Cardinals. They. I mean, Cardinals got the, everybody. Everybody's looking at that that deal and they're laughing at Bill O'Brien, <laughs> um, with the uh, with the whole DeAndre Hopkins. But I guess what Houston got a second round pick back with Hopkins. Yeah, they, they got they a Houston and, and David Johnson, and, and they had to give up a. They had to give up. Uh, they have to give Hopkins a new contract. But mm-hmm. they did take David Johnson's salary too. Yeah, which is like ten million for this year. So I don't know. I mean, David Johnson was once a really good player, but last year was kind of eh, at the end of the season. Man, right? I mean, the, these running backs, the the, the yeah. poor bastards. They, they like people. People just toss them aside like they're nothing. It's it, it really drives. Like uh, Devontae Freeman, this guy. Oh was, yeah, he's out. There. This guy was carrying the Falcons to the Super Bowl. They're just like, see you, man. With three years left in his contract. See ya. Well, that that's why that's why the most important number in a contract is guaranteed money. All that other stuff is fooey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Dolphins also signed Eric Flowers yesterday. Yeah, that was definitely the most polarizing <laughs> one of the day because nobody here has a great uh, has a great feeling with that. Like I saw Rashad <laughs> Butler yesterday on on Twitter, and he was like, "Bro," and I know like he moved to guard, and everybody's like, "It, it re uh, it rehabbed the career." But the thing the, the thing that the thing that worries me there is okay, you make the move to guard, but now all of a sudden you're paid again. How's that gonna go? N- no, it's a monument. It's a monument to bust. The thing the that makes you throw up question marks is it's Eric Flowers. Yeah. Let's not let's not make it sound like, you know, he has And the Redskins was his third team. Right. He, he, went, to the, he went to the Jaguars wasn't after, good. after the Giants. Yeah, he wasn't good. He wasn't good. Um But they still tried to put him at at, at um Well yeah they, they got were, they, they got they got him when they were desperate. They, they, and they, and they tried to put him at tackle. Yeah, because they were desperate on, right. on 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 the injury front. Now I will say a lot of a lot of guards or former tackles that don't have defeat. Mm-hmm. You, you would think so, the Giants who invested a first round pick in him never tried him at tackle, and I mean to never tried him at guard. It would, doesn't make any sense. Uh, that doesn't, it, but that doesn't strike me as that crazy because a lot of a lot of times when GMs invest a first round pick, especially on what they think is going to be a franchise left tackle, they want it to work out. You know, right? But guess what? That's why I don't do that. You don't that, do what? I don't. No, I don't draft. draft offensive linemen in the first yeah, round. Yeah, because here it's hard to tell if that skill translates. But in other positions, for example, a wide receiver, if he's fast and can catch, that translates. Now, in some way, maybe not the way you want, but it translates. If you have a pass rusher, a guy that's strong, and has you know uh, athletic ability. That could translate, mm-hmm. but you can't definitively tell me how an offensive lineman in in college translates to an offensive lineman in the NFL without actually seeing him compete against that level. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 I, I can't, 
you you're it, that's more of a risk to me than any other position along with quarterback because you don't know you know how open are receivers how is he throwing guys open what was the play call how you you don't know how that translates into the time that is allowed to throw football in NFL versus college. What else you got, Robbie? Oh, and the Dolphins also signed Shaq Lawson, too, uh, three years at $30 million as well. Yes, they did. Um, and a couple of news that happened late last night, well, probably when everyone was sleeping, at least when I was sleeping, first the Cowboys gave Amari Cooper $100 million. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, but I don't know how many years it is yet, but I'm going to cl- uh, click on it. Uh, but, yeah, five years, $100 million for Amar- Amari Cooper. What is that, uh, 45 guaranteed? We don't know yet. Okay. 60. 60. 60 guaranteed. Okay. So the only guy left not uh, to pay from that trio is Dak. Well, he got the franchise tag, which is only $26 million. I feel like that's cheap. I feel like he could ride it out of the year. I thought it was like 30 but I, I mean, that's what they told him. They should, he'd just ride it out. It, and, yeah, and that's going to be one of those things, too, with Dak, where he, he was a fourth-round pick. So, I mean, yeah, and it's his first year in the tag. I, don't, I think, yeah. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna not show up for the for 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 camp if you make twenty six million dollars. Well, you don't make nothing yet. He didn't sign it. Now, well, no, I'm just saying though. Like if he right. doesn't get down to it, like right. You, it goes, if it was his second contract, it worked out maybe. fine. Like it did work out fine for Kirk Cousins eventually. But but again, if it was his second contract and he already had yeah, yeah. then that's different than it him going from a couple of mil to 26 Yeah, that's life life-sa- that's life changing money for Dak right. Prescott. And right. you, if you didn't know about the Amari Cooper news that you were asleep, you probably didn't know about this that the Bills traded for Stephon Diggs. Yeah, I saw that. They tra- four yep. draft uh, including a first round pick and three other draft picks. Really? But yeah. they they traded draft picks. That, so that the, doesn't that doesn't feel like Yeah, that's Buffalo work sending out. Minnesota a first I feel fifth, like, and six. I feel like Stephon Diggs is going to get sick of Josh Allen in like 3 seconds. Uh, <laughs> I mean, especially when he's blocking downfield for him instead yeah, of catching passes. I'm not I I I, I oh, feel like that's going to be a disaster. Are we sold on Josh Allen? No. no. Okay. I actually like Josh Allen as a player as far as like everything he brings to the table. You know, like he's a college quarterback, like uh, like a rah rah, tough, run the football, throw a couple of passes. No, but he's a really good runner. I yeah. mean, he's he is a he, okay. he's a prolific runner. But okay. I, I I've seen this. You know who else was a good runner? A really good runner, Blake Bortles. Like I've I've seen this movie before. Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles is a great runner. Go look at his numbers. Uh, you'll be shocked. Oh yeah, his last year is uh, like last like the AFC Championship year with Jacksonville. Great no, Leroy, you'd be shocked if you went and looked at Blake. He had some records too. I think he broke like he, he like passed Michael Vick in some numbers. I think of like average yards per carry. Really? Yeah, I think probably because everybody looked at his doofy face and like, no way this boy's running. And then ooh, somebody tried to gone. box me in at at six twelve in the morning. Didn't translate for Deion Jordan. That it did. It didn't. But but the skill set mm-hmm. right is easier to put. At the next level. Yeah, but the knucklehead also translates, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Robbie? <laughs> yeah, just to get clear to the compensation, it was a first, fifth, and sixth this year, and a fourth in 2021, and they sent back, and then the 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 Vikings got back, I mean, the, the Bills also got back a 2020 seventh round pick with Diggs, so that that was the, the now, trade. Now, question, mm-hmm. um, the, running, the running back that got traded, um, what's the name, from Arizona? David Johnson. Johnson. David Johnson. Why did he made it sound like he's a throw in? Because he had his his salary. Like he, 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 he had a bad injury and then he wasn't uh he wasn't the same. Well he didn't year. have a bad I mean, he just had a knee injury. It yeah. wasn't like anything. Well I was saying that he was, was out like for these, a year. Once, he got once, benched. A, once a running back right. has a once a running back has a down year, like you know, there's a lot of Todd Gurley rumors that are out there right now. There's uh I mean and, I mean look Devontae Freeman is what, a couple years removed from from taking the uh, the Falcons to the Super Bowl being one of the big reasons they were in the yep. Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So it's just would you take uh, would you rather have Devontae Freeman or Gurley? Devontae Freeman if he's cheaper. Yes. Well, it's say numbers are even. I still numbers take, are even. I I still take Devontae Freeman because Gurley something's wrong with that knee. You think it's just going downhill? I, I mean, I, it'd just, be a cool story. I just think I just think uh, I think when you go into your third year and they're telling you we got to put him on a restriction. I, I think it looks like the Dolphins are going to probably invest a high pick in a running back. Like it, it's probably it's probably going to be one of those. I would say your second one of your second yeah, two. one of the second two. Like it feels like they're going to go get a guy who they think can make an impact right away. But um, and probably an offensive lineman too. Yeah, but I wouldn't be against. I, I mean, Devontae Freeman. I wouldn't be like you're probably not going to pay that much for him since he's got that that big contract already. Ready. Um, I would say why not? Why not give a fly? I think it's a cool story too. Hometown kid 
coming right. back. I mm-hmm. always love that stuff. Mm-hmm. I have loosely, very loosely dropped the needs counter down to 10. I'm counting, right, temporarily so, so, counting Eric Flowers. So, Mr. Needs, yesterday, we, what did we go into free agency 14. with? 14. So you 14. believe four needs were filled four with needs. the four signings? Yes, I'm not counting the backup, the, the backup, the, the safety from the Bengals that they signed. The special teamer? Yeah, not to counting him. He's a nice player, replacing Walt Aikens, but not counting him as a need filled. All right, but yeah, Shaq Lawson. Um, I got I got talked into Eric Flowers. I had to waver. Who on that talked one. you into it? Uh, just as, I mean, I know the Dolphins intended on filling as a need as a guard. They're not going to go out and get another guard. When they signed Eric Flowers. I mean, they, they need a right guard too, but. They're not going to go out and sign another position. He's a starting left guard, whether we like it or not. So as of right now, I'm counting him as a need filled until until otherwise. He's so, actually one. Of, I think one of the rare guys because people look at these pro canes and like they hold it with uh, with some level of pride. So I feel like in a lot of ways, Eric Flowers is coming to the Dolphins, and no one's going to. I don't think a lot of people will put pressure on like a big free agent signing guard. And a lot of ways, I feel like he's going to. He, he did sign with a place where he's going to get the most pressure because I feel like. He's going to be scrutinized greatly here because he is a former Kane and, and was a high drafted former Kane and now is a highly paid free agent former Kane. Well, when he when he got drafted uh, high from uh, Miami, everybody went who? You know, they knew he was going to get drafted high, but there were questions when he. Got I was drafted. a little surprised he was going to get drafted right. high, but right. but it was. Um, but I think I, I think you were disappointed with just how bad it went in New York immediately. I, like, I didn't think it was going to be that. I didn't think it was going to be bad, but I wasn't shocked because when we saw him here, we didn't think that that was, you know, that high of a pick. Uh, this came yesterday from Mike Lynch. He is a sports anchor for WCVB <laughs> Channel 5. You're making me nervous, bro. I, I don't know why I'm sneezing. Mm. Hmm. I only sneeze in here. All right. But All you're right. gone down. I saw they were working on the thermostat. No. Yeah. He, he just that, did a drive by the thermostat. He's not doing crap. He anymore. fixed my computer, though, so shout out. I, I needed that. So uh, this dude's name is Mike Lynch. He is a, an anchor for WCVB, which is the ABC affiliate in Boston. Apparently, he's been doing it forever. And this was him yesterday, all right? Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> Are you effing kidding me? I don't know what it is. Yeah, all right. I'm I about, haven't sneezed. I'm about to send you to another studio. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, uh, crying out loud, nothing. I ain't trying to get quarantined. How many times have I sneezed? A good four, back to back. That's how many times I've sneezed in the last month. All right. And, so and what, what, what else has happened in the last month? I clipped my a nose pan- hair. A pandemic. I clipped my nose hairs. And you guys you, met with the mayor. You clipped your nose hairs this this month? Like two days ago. I've been, How come you weren't sneezing, sneezing yesterday? Huh, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Interesting. I'm freezing. I know that much. You're still freezing? Yes. Dude, you look like you're ready to go to a game at Lambeau. I think I think I need more cover-up for my legs. What are you wearing right now? Shorts. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you okay? Like, is your blood I'm thinning? I'm fine! Are you, 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 you're, like a, you're like a grandma. No, I'm, Dude, it's six... It's it, it's not it's the. It's sixty five degrees. It's dropping. Oh wow, that's a record. <laughs> right. This is kind of like when we when we used to do the show at Twin Peaks and we always checked on how cold the beer was. Yes. Now we're checking <laughs> on how cold the room is. Yes. Uh. Anyway, we, let's, should, we should just get like stuffed rodents by the by the air conditioning. You're terrifying me. Either way, uh. So this dude, Mike Lynch, he uh he's been a longtime anchor, and this is what he said yesterday, Leroy. Okay, this was after the Kyle okay. Van Noy uh signing with the Dolphins. All right. Just have been told. The Dolphins are very interested in Tom Brady. Very interested in Tom Brady. Very. Now, mind you, this is one of the lone players the Dolphins have said. Steven Ross, Brian Flores, they have put a name to it and said, why would he want to come to Miami? You know, not, 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 not a great matchup. So the Dolphins have publicly been asked about the Tom Brady thing before and have kind of shot it down. However, it's also camping season, so maybe, maybe the Dolphins didn't want to put uh, out there how interested they were in Tom Brady and bringing him to Miami. And so you sign Tom Brady, you bring him in, you draft Tua, oh, business has picked up, Leroy. Business has picked up. I don't know. What do you mean I, you don't know? I don't know. I, I don't think I'd take Tua if they, if they signed Tom Brady. Really? So what? You, You're still going to need a What? 
But I, 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 I'd use it. I, I'd st- I'll wait. I don't have to take a quarterback now. I wait till the following draft. Take a quarterback. I'll use the three picks on filling up. On you know filling out the rest of the roster. Yeah, but mm. you're gonna have so many picks. You're gonna give Tom Brady a lot of money. We also, but we also were in a position yesterday. The Colts traded a draft pick, so they're not a danger anymore. Yeah, right. Yep. So, like, who's left as far as like the only danger? Chargers, probably, Chargers, in Jacksonville. Yeah, you could take the Raiders out already when they once they got Mariota. Yeah, I don't think the I don't think the Raiders are going to go get Tua. So it's I, it's Detroit or, or the Chargers. How about that? Come on, Robbie. Now, what do you think about the idea of Tom Brady playing for the Dolphins, though? Nope. Just from a perspective of, I having, like Tom Brady having your longtime rival be your quarterback. That would be the equivalent of Dan Marino going to play for the Jets. Yep. Oh, yeah, exactly. Ugh. Exactly. It's got Robbie. a disgusting feeling too. But, Ugh. but, 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 the petty is strong in him. It is. Remember when? Uh, remember? When, remember? Uh, Brett Favre wanted to first go to the Vikings. He had to go take a detour before he got there. He had to go I play mean, for the Jets. Right. But think about think about this. Right. When Dante was here, and it didn't go so well, how petty was he when he came back with? Oh Oakland? man, the the five touchdowns, touch uh, you know, pointing to the knee and and mocking the crowd. Well, because he scored like all the touchdowns. For all, the but for all the Dolphin fans who think it'd be weird having Tom Brady be your quarterback, and I'm not gonna dis, I'm not gonna dismiss. Of course, it would be weird if if Tom Brady became the Dolphins' quarterback. It's equivalent to Brett Favre playing for the Vikings. But think of this. No. Think think of all the Sully and Murphs losing their bleep. Because in he this plays building. for the Dolphins in this building. Yeah, yeah. Think of that. I can have some if, fun with that. If you need, if you need a little bit of a, a little bit of swaying to get Tom Brady as the quarterback of the Miami Dolphins, think of all the Sully and Murphs having their little hearts broken. Okay, I already see. I already see the other side of this. Mm. Here's what's gonna happen. Yep. I don't want to break it to you this way. Mm. What if he comes down here? Right? Takes up the joint. Yes, because, well, he's old. Yeah. What are the Sully and Murphy? See? I told I you. I told you. I check the whole time. <laughs> right. He's a bum. <laughs> System quarterback. <laughs> you, <laughs> now, <laughs> would you rather hear that? That would drive you crazier. That you got the guy. You got the goat after. And, that, and that's typically how it would go for the Miami Dolphins. Right. That's typically how right. it would go for the so, Miami Dolphins. But so. I am willing to roll the dice. If, if, you're, if you're telling me you're also going to draft like, Wait, wait, wait. Stop with the rolling of the dice. Hit, Dude. Hit me out. You don't hit roll the dice. Hit me out. We're done rolling the dice. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, let me tell you something. You're getting mad at. Oh, let me tell you something. You're getting mad at. Let me at, tell you something. Uh, Stephen Ross yesterday, you know what he did? He walked up to the craps table. No, right? he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, he was... He was big money spending. He says, "Oh, all that's the not cons- big money sp- on says, a corner on everybody." He, he spent the most total guaranteed money for one offseason in the past ten years. Yeah, yeah, one hundred thirty-one million in guaranteed money. Leroy, he had a year off, and he was like, "I'm ready to go." He was like Philly Cheese in that Clippers game, where he was getting up shots. He he'd been in, he'd been in isolation for a while, and he was ready <laughs> he was ready to bust out the checkbook. All and right. so, if you're telling me that he could cap it off with getting Tom Brady here, I know he would love it. And, uh, now, this is contingent on the fact. You're only getting Tua. I want them if they draft Tua. Also, that's obviously what I want them to do. I don't want them to, to make their their entire oh, plan. Oh, 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 looking at a list. Oh yeah, Daniel Jeremiah has a Dolphins taking Herbert, Herbert in front of Tua. In front of Tua. Uh, kick rocks, Herbert. Or really? J- kick, Daniel Jeremiah. Kick, Jeremiah. Who is that guy? He's on NFL Network. Ah, uh, I don't like it. He's he's, he's you he's don't guy, like it. He's the guy who replaced Mike Mayock. So oh, he is. I'm. I'm amazed at how people think Herbert is the next Tannehill. Where did he have Tua going? I didn't see the it. The next pick to the Chargers. Pick. To the Chargers. Oh. To the Chargers. I don't like it. Why? Nah, I want Tua. What if he's not better? He is. He's Would better you? than Herbert. Just health is. is uh, oh, okay. Her- then, he's, Her- then he's not. If Her- it's Herbert's better than health. health. If it's just health, then he's not. Hey, hey. Would you like? Would you like to? What do you want? A career bet? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm not doing career bets. I'm not gonna be like Robbie, where I make bets all of a sudden. If you want to, you know, we'll, we'll we'll come to this row when it when it starts. Like we'll have a head to head game when they play. We'll come with a bet. All right, but that's my guy. You, I, I mean, is is Herbert your guy? That, uh, I'm I'm the best quarterback at the time in the draft guy. I believe the Chargers. I don't care do, who it is. The Chargers do play the Dolphins if they play the season. Uh, they play them down here this year. Well, it's gonna be hard because Tom Brady's gonna be playing quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. Really, you've already called that. I think it makes sense. I I see. I didn't go. I didn't go out there like that. 
You know why I think it makes sense? Why? Because I think he wants to leave, but I don't think he wants to go to Tampa. Tampa has a better team right now. Better skill guys? Yep. Better receivers. Uh. Eh, I think the Dolphins can soup that up, though. They can soup it up. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> Do you want to go to a team that does the same exact thing that you did in – New England, or do you want to go and and actually be able to throw it down the field and do a lot of different things? I don't know. Because if you want to do the same thing you did in New England, here's your place. Yeah. Um, if you want to go down the field more, if you want to have those numbers you had a couple of years ago, then Tampa's your place. But, uh, my also, Tampa has a, a better defense. People also always bring up the family factor with him because of his wife. I would, If, if you had to venture to guess where his wife would want to live, Miami? Miami. L.A. Well, I, uh, yeah, but <laughs> the char- well, are we the only reason any- he's Robbie, weird, that's not an option. Yeah, we're not hearing anything about the Chargers. No, it's kind of weird. The, the Chargers are still interested, but the problem is they have no fans. Like, why would Tom Brady go there? If they had a fan base, he, I think he would have been signed with the Chargers already. All right. 